Photoshop's really great, but there are a lot of tasks that you can perform that end up being really tedious and repetitive. If you want to get away from redoing stuff that you have to do over and over and over again, you can use Photoshop Actions to automate those tasks. And we're going to take a look at how to do that. First, we need to bring up the Actions panel, which you can find in the Window menu right here. And it will show up in this little palette. And as you can see, there are a lot of default actions that have already been uh, created for you. So I'm just going to apply this sepia toning uh, action here to demonstrate. I'm going to click that and hit the play button. And as you can see, it has just done a sepia tone for us. And if we go into the history, you can see all the stuff that it did. Now, I'm going to go back to this where we started. Um, and we're going to make our own action. So to do that, I'm going to go into the Actions panel, use this menu here, choose New Action, and we'll call it Color Adjustment. So as you can see, the Record button is already selected there in the Actions panel, so everything we do now is going to be recorded by Photoshop. If we don't want something to be recorded for some reason, we can just hit Stop and then hit Record again to keep going but we want to record everything in this case so I'm gonna go ahead and open the image menu and go to adjustments and choose curves and I'm gonna make some adjustments in curves I'm gonna adjust the colors I'm gonna bring down red here bring it up here and I'm gonna do the opposite with blue kinda of make the colors pop a little bit here there we go and I'm gonna hit OK and as you can see it's recorded our curves there. Now I'm going to go ahead and make a new layer. We'll call this Spotlight. I'll make a little spotlight with a gradient. So I'm selecting the gradient tool um, and I'm making a radial gradient with uh, white as the foreground, black as the background. I'm going to just put it right there kind of in the middle. And then I'm going to erase this a bit and set the blending mode to multiply. Dial down the opacity good okay so now we've got that all taken care of and as you can see all these adjustments have been recorded in actions I'm gonna hit stop now we have a color adjustment here now if I was to run that on another photo by just selecting it and hitting play you'll see it does basically the same thing now your adjustments are going to be identical so they may not be perfect on every photo as you can see here the colors popped a lot more on this one than it did in this one. You may want to make some additional adjustments yourself, but the idea is that you can automate whatever you want with Photoshop using Photoshop Actions. That's how to do a simple one. Of course, there are much more complicated ways you can do really complex, interesting things with Actions, but this will get you started. Have fun.